a large portion of the grade in this class will be based on how you perform in the online test. So in this video, I'll show you how to take an online quiz using Class TA. Log in. and open your class folder. In the shared files, make sure you have read the quiz instructions, understood them, and if any of the any part of this instruction is not clear, email me immediately to clarify. To know if there is a quiz due, Go to the My Grade page and there you will see a quiz header, quiz 3 in this case, posted. If you move the pointer over the header, the window over which you can take the quiz appears in this space, in this little panel. And you can see the, in this particular case the window is from February 11 to February 15 and the maximum time allowed is 90 minutes. In general, even if you take a few extra minutes in a quiz, uh, it is not counted against you. In case you need a lot of extra time, you make sure you email me telling the reason why you need such an extra time. So within the given window, find a time and space where you can take the quiz without, with, with as little stress as possible. The quiz is always open book open notes, you can even Google whatever information you want. The only thing you got to make sure is that you do not take help from anyone else. So now that you know there's a quiz DU to, and you are now ready to take the quiz, go to the discussion blog and there under the quiz tab you'll find the quiz announcement and a submission code. Copy the submission code and now open the gradable page, paste the code, click the check gradable, gradable status button and this brings up the confirm button and the moment you click this button the clock starts ticking. A timer on, at the bottom shows how much time is left, but don't let that bother you. Uh, if you need additional time, go ahead. In case of an emergency that if you need a lot of additional time, just send me an email. But the additional time should be reasonable. Uh, you can also s hide or show instructions by clicking these buttons here, uh, these links here, or even hide the timer if it bothers you. Now let's see how you take a quiz. Uh, for question one, suppose you work out the answer for part A to be 1000 Kelvin. And by the way, make sure you keep your manual work uh, with you so that if I ask, you can scan those and send that to me. And after your manual solution, you can go to test and confirm your answer using a test calc and take as much time as you want so that you make sure you get the correct answer in the correct unit that is displayed here. Suppose for part B you got an answer of the boundary work of negative 0 0.6 kilojoules and you want to click the submit button now but make sure the format is correct that is the numbers you entered is a number either an integer or a decimal number like my negative 0 0.6 here. How many decimal point do you need? Suppose your answer was, uh, you know, 598. Well, if you answered 0 0.59 or even 0 0.6, the percent error in your answer is really small. So in each answer will be evaluated within a tolerance. So just use your judgment. Your answer should be within plus minus uh, two or three percent of the correct answer. Click the submit button. We are done with question one. Suppose for question two, uh, for the displacement volume, 
you got an answer of 100.5 cc. But in typing it, by mistake, you put a space here, so then it's not a correct it's not in correct number format anymore. So if you click submit button, you will see a warning. So please read here to make sure your answer is in the correct format. If not, click the cancel button and correct your answer. And one important thing that I forgot to mention, that take a screenshot of this page in case your answer doesn't go through or you made a mistake, this will be this screenshot will be a proof that you submitted the quiz correctly. So what I do, I use a software called PicPic, which I can use to capture a screenshot. Uh, in case, you, you can also use a, a fo your phone to take a picture if that is better for you, but make sure you keep record of all your submissions. Now click the submit button and you are done for this quiz. But one thing you got to remember that even though the amount, the time allowed is flexible, the quiz must be taken within the quiz window. Once the window is passed, there's no way you can take the quiz again.